Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Fusion Next Gen Learning. Subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement where we have to regularly upload value set values and business want that process to be automated in Oracle Fusion. We'll learn in today's session how we can achieve it. We had already learned how we can load the values and do it manually. So for that, what do you have to do? You have to create the value set. You have to create the flag file. And once you've created the flag file, you have to run the ESS job. And that ESS job you can schedule for particular value set. So that as and when user load the values in the UCM, it will get automatically processed rather than going to the value set UI and loading. For that, I had already created the value set. So we'll go to the setup and maintenance and we'll go to the task and click on search. Once the moment we click on search, manage values set percent. So the task name called manage value sets. So we'll go to the manage value sets. Over here, I have already created independent one, that is our value set name. And if you see that we have created this value set and within that value set, if we click on the manage values and try to search, so you can see that there are two values available, test one and test two. So that is what I have loaded. Now I show you how you can do that. So for that, you have to create the structure. And for that, what you have to do, you have to create the flat file. For creating the flat file, you have to first enter the value set code. That is what we have already learned. Then you have to enter the value and then enable flag. These are the three mandatory columns that you have to keep it by loading the value set values while creating the flag file. And within that, we have captured the value set code as an independent one that we have seen over the UI and then the values. So values is test three and then enabled flag. So enable flag is Y. Now I will enter another values. So what we do will add another values and then save this record in CSV format. Then you have to go to the UI. Once the moment you click on the UI, what you have to do, you have to go to the UCM and you have to export and import option you have to choose file. So we'll go to the tools and within the file import and export, we'll create a new record. Once we click on the new record, we'll have to choose the file. So we will choose the file. So independent, we have created the file name called independent. You prefer your value set code name as well. So it is not a mandatory to have the same. You can have the differ as well. Only thing is that you have to make sure within the file, the value set code name you have entered correctly. And then the account, right? So in the account, you have to choose the setup forward slash functional setup manager forward slash import. Once you choose the account, you have to click on save and close. Now this account is mandatory for us to schedule the job to automate. So what we learned in our earlier video that after placing the file to the UCM, you have to go to the UI and within the value set UI, you have to import. Now to automate the process, you have to go to the navigator and within the navigator, you have to click on the tools and within the tools, you have option called schedule process. And within the schedule process, you have to click on submit new process and type process 
tell you. And if you try to search, the ESS job name is ESS process for value set, values upload. Once you select that ESS job, you have to click on OK. And then you have to enter the account. So we have already copied the account information from the UCM. You have to enter that account information and then the file name. So let's assume in every month or frequently business users using and loading the value set new values in a bulk. So every time they have to choose the same file and just replace the values. So you can schedule these job so we'll enter our file name so independent dot csv so that is what the file we have loaded over the ucm with this name so you have to make sure that the file name the account is corrected and wherever you load it you have to make sure that all these two informations are correct and after that you go to the advanced section and within the advanced section, you can add the recipient information for the notification, as well as you go to the schedule and you can schedule this ESS job. So once you schedule this ESS job, then every time for particular value set code, if users trying to load a new values, they don't need to go to the manually to UI. What they have to do, they have to just place and file with the same name, with the new values to the UCM. And after that, this ESS job will automatically process those records in the Fusion system. So we'll, we are not going to schedule now. You can schedule, you can test it. Now I will simply click on Submit. Once the moment I click on Submit, I'll wait that ESS job to get processed and pick those records. So you can see that the program not succeeded. And if you click on the program, you can see that there are two files are generated. One is text and one is log. So if there is any error, you can open, you can see all those error. So you can see that the processing value set uploaded for account. So successfully uploaded. So you can see that rows in data file to rows in valid format to and rows created too. So successfully we have loaded via the ESS job rather than going manually to the UI. Now we'll go and validate to the UI. So for that, what you have to do, you have to go to the setup and maintenance. So we'll validate whether this ESS job has processed the records in the system or not. So for that, we'll again go to the setup and maintenance, go to the task, and click on search and we'll type manage value sets percent. So the task name called manage value sets. So we'll go to the task and then we'll type in the pandan. So that is our value set code name and try to search. And if we go to the manage values and try to search, We'll see there are two new records. So recently we have loaded the test three and the test four. So successfully loaded. And these two values are earlier values that we had loaded for the demo purpose. And now recently, just now we loaded these two values. So rather than importing from the UI, you can automate this process in Oracle Fusion and achieve your business requirement. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Physical Engine Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching, happy learning.